Today I want to make manganese dioxide by electrolysis in this large beaker. From manganese sulfate I've bought as a fertilizer. So to do this I need two electrodes, one on the one side and one on the other side. And these electrodes have to be resistant against sulfate electrolysis. So graphite does fall apart if you try to electrolyze sulfate ions. As anode and therefore I have bought lead like it's used in car batteries if you believe it or not this little roll here is around three kilograms so it's really super dense metal this is lead roofing so roof plating and it is pretty good in thickness and height already so I just need to cut strips using little tin snips here in quite the right size to fit into the speaker and be good electrodes. So that's what I'm going to do now. So this metal is super soft. So really no task on cutting it like butter. I'm wearing gloves today because my hands are wounded. And I don't want to get any lead inside them. So here we have our first electrode. I need just to remove that piece here, okay. that piece of paper. And I'll quickly cut off a second one. So buying this already pre-machined lead is quite comfortable. One is the anode and one is the cathode as lead is used in car batteries for example for exactly the same thing but instead of manganese sulfate there will be something like dilute sulfuric acid inside so here i've got beautiful two electrodes you just need to get off this crap here and make them even so they have already a really perfect size for this one major beaker. My plan is to insert them somehow like this. Then start electrolysis. The whole mixture. As you can easily see here, I've now prepared the lead electrodes. They're sitting in here pretty tightly. And everything can be finally covered up with a watch glass which prevents the spills of the fume from getting out of this. Pretty nice things these watch glasses. Wide range of use. Oh, the other direction was better. Yes, here I have a little problem. You see I can just use my fingers to work around with the light here. Really no tools required. And this has an even better set here. So that's the whole apparatus. And here the hydrogen can escape. Yo, it's done now, I think so. Let's go for filling this. Here you can actually see the overall setup. With manganese sulfide being here, a lot of electrodes alligator clips and everything placed on the stir bar. Now I'm going to take this gigantic beaker to fill in some water. And 
stirring this place, don't want need to hope to get this into solution once. Or together. Finally, heat and strong stirring have made this somehow working to get everything nicely into solution. Next step is to increase some voltage. Check if there will be something bubbling. You can see the first brown stuff forming. So, why did I do the synthesis today of MnO2? At all. So why did I do this? Well, I have already bought this in store and this was only 80% impurity which is no good for my reactions because I want to use this to make potassium permanganate. And to do this I'm going to make sodium permanganate And then use some potassium salt to throw out the potassium permanganate. So I tried to purify this, but unfortunately this did not work either. So I thought of doing another way to get to there and that is by the oxidation of manganese sulfate. And that's what I did today. So manganese sulfate can be oxidized electrolytically and that's exactly what I did and that's why this all happened at the anode. <laughs> 